Okay, hello guys. So today we're gonna work on the UI, and at first I wanna change my the way I'm getting the coins. So first I had an auto loaded script that I was just sending it to, and someone commented that that might be bad when it comes to a lot of other stuff. So we're gonna create custom signals, and then we're gonna connect that to the UI, and then the UI will update. So let's start in the coins. So first to create a signal, we use the signal. Uh, keyword here signal no square brackets and then we need a public delegate void let's call it coin collected collected and you need to add event handler here handler this is important <coughs> event handler all right whenever we collect the coin you just want to emit the signal so we say emit signal and this Call it coin collected. Right. Save that. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make the UI and then connect this guy to it. So let's save here and then go back to here. So we're gonna add the coins to a group. So let's go to main scene. Go over to group here. Let's build it first so we could see the new signal. We're not gonna use it directly, but here it is, coin collected. So let's go to groups and then we're gonna add it to coin or coins. Add that there, let's save. We're gonna go on the main scene, we're gonna create a new UI. It's gonna we're gonna use a canvas layer. Canvas layer. Let's call this UI. Put up a bit. Then let's add a script to it. Save that and we need to close and open again. Let's do it before it causes problems. All right, so what we want to do here is in the ready function, we want to get all the coins. So we say var, oh, sorry, not var, uh, array of coins, so we go coins equals get tree dot get nodes in group. And it's gonna be coins. Now we need to loop through this. So for I uh, increment. All right. So what we wanna do here? A public uh, void. And then we're gonna have the score up here. I could say score equal to score plus one. All right. Then right here now we're gonna see coin at oops, node and equals coin okay. and dot connect and that's that signal so coin and we want to pass hold on we don't need to do it like that so let say coin collected coin collected plus minus and add don't need to change this to be the actual type so it's a coin Right, so save, and this should work. Let's just print for now. So print, oops, ed print, e dot print, then score. Alrighty, so let's go back in the coin. Let's get rid of. Oh, that seems fine. Double check that everything's. Same, fine, so save. Now let's build this project, right? And save in. There you go. Two, three, if you see it over there. Five, six. Now let's build out that UI. So now we're getting the coins. Now we need some actual text. So let's save this as a scene. Or let's make it first. So let's add channel node. Got a texture correct. It's gonna be an icon. So this is the icon that I made. I just took a picture of the um one of the coins in 3D view and just zoomed in on a bit a bit. Save that, then let's add a label. Download label. Put it maybe here show these in a hbox container so let's hbox container now let's make a material for this uh 
table so label settings and uh, let's set it says oops uh outline font size so there i want that texture to stretch Sun mode hp here i can just adjust this a bit all right let's actually use x now we need to grab the the label call it score ldo and come here public label and score right here see oops score label so this score lbo equals get node or label sorry label Bold for LBO. And remember, it's a child of the HBox container, so we need to put HB here. Now we could set the score. Whenever we change the score, instead of print, let's just say score or or label the text equals score. And let's change it to be a string. Yep. Add to string. Right. So let's add that x back again. Then this. Yes, I can't do that. I'm so confused. Let's have to do the trick. All right. Now let's try to run that. So let's go back to main. And. Um, there you go and that's it for this video uh let's also add a end level so back in 3d view go all the way to the end here i'm gonna create my new model flag double check it change this to be an area 3d area 3d get rid of the camera and the yeah, by right, material or for the instance of a flag that is collision at a flag or level complete area level complete that's yes give again and save it as a scene flag all right so in the main scene here this instance that flag oops the flag drag them all the way over here all right now i want to do a few stuff let's see player all the laps public or level complete public void level complete and pass in a uh, player body oh can i have the same name just flip it or just complete what i want to do here is just emit a signal that the level is complete. Let's create another one. Or let's end it here. So I'm just gonna print. So gd dot print. Next video I do um scene switching and stuff like that. Level complete. So we're just printing text for now. Copy this guy. Go back into the flag here. On this node signal on body entered. Go on the flag. So let's go in the flag and do it. That would have been troublesome. Flag will complete. All right, back here again, and then we're gonna just only allow collision with the player and player and support of the world. Mm. I'll double check. Yep, can't collide with enemies. Got it. Save. While I'm at it, let's add some more coins. Alright, let's just leave that there. Save and test the scene. The shape didn't have collisions. There you go, level complete. Alright, guys, so next video, we're gonna do audio and scene switching. We're gonna add a second level, and that's about it. So, like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.